Did your school have a school genius that was frighteningly talented or intelligent? Where are they now, and what are they currently doing? Kid who made high grade explosives. He was a little weird, socially awkward, but a nice guy. At the age where you dick around with firecrackers and match heads, he was the same, except he was smarter, not wiser, than you or me. So he ordered various chemicals from the internet, and ended up triggering the online companies into informing the police. Armed police kicked his family's door in at 3 am and stormed the place. Army bomb squad examined the stuff he'd made apparently. It was pretty much stable plastic explosive, but still had to take it out into the fields behind his house and destroy it. He got away with little more than a caution and court ordered counseling. Fell out of touch with him, but Facebook stalking reveals, he went to Cambridge to study physics, he now designs the software certain companies use to trade on the stock market, married the daughter of a Hong Kong investment banker and splits his time between his apartment in Hong Kong and house in London. I went the middle school with an incredibly intelligent boy, super smart, very attractive, was the adopted son of the wealthiest family in town, died from a brain tumor when we were 13. That was about 40 years ago and I still wonder how his life would have turned out. I had a similar comment. Science high school classmate, very smart, very handsome, but socially awkward, died in 11th grade from a brain aneurysm. Guy was bullied a lot but he was going places. I'm still friends with the smartest guy in my school, and pretty much that I've ever met. His uni entrance score was the highest my high school has ever had before or since. He's married to a great woman and has a couple of terrific kids. He is a VP in a global chemicals company, and he's still a terrific bloke. So my high school was a gifted school. With the exception of scholarship purposes, we all went to top 30 universities. But still dot 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 I didn't meet re e e e e genius until I went to college. This guy, one year above me, went on college jeopardy and annihilated everyone. He was tens of thousands of dollars ahead of everyone every round. He won overall, graduated from our school, then went to our rival. MIT, and got his PhD, and now he's a question mark slash there, principal engineer at Intel. One of my friends knew him personally. He said he was weird as shit, but being weird as shit is kind of normal in Nerdhaven. My school genius got a 5 out of 5 in Calculus 2 app when he was a junior in high school. He was a cocky motherfucker but no one denied the kid was a genius. Loved learning and loved being smart. He had completed most app classes by the time his senior year had started. He got accepted to MIT for physics. He got drunk one night during graduate school scaled a building on campus with his friends, and fell off, killing himself in Darwinian fashion. It's truly one of the most ironic things I've ever seen. The smartest person I've ever met died in the dumbest way I had ever seen. My school's genius was painfully awkward and socially inept, but still a pretty nice guy. Perfect score on the ACT and the SATs. I have no idea where he chose to go to school. He owns his own lighting design company along with his wife who is an interior decorator. They just bought their third vacation home. Our school genius was also very awkward and socially inept. This was in middle school. He took the SATs in 8th grade scored perfect and skipped all of high school and went straight to university at 14. He jumped off the 20th floor at the university the next year. I went to a Big Ten college, so like 40k undergrad students, and in both my physics and calc classes there were middle school and high school kids. They were all male, socially inept and barely talked to anyone. Outside of maybe video games, they had nothing in common with the rest of the classes. Some of them quickly learned they weren't the smartest kid anymore as these were special placement classes for the CS engineering schools and didn't handle that very well. I remember one kid crying because he got an 80 on a test. He had to go out in the hall and call his mom to come get him. This is pre-cell phone days. In my opinion, kids to need to be around other kids their age. Sending a 14-year-old to college just seems like a recipe for disaster down the road. 
even the few post-secondary kids that lived in our dorm had major issues adapting to life away from home, mainly because they were all pretty sheltered up to that point. Now they're living in a building with 600 other kids, both male and female. My friend Dean was the smartest kid in school. He was two grades above me, got a perfect score on SAT, and actually wrote the skeleton of a play for the drama club. Me and some other people higher up in the club all sat down with him and our drama teacher and did some editing like made lines shorter, easier to memorize, he used really big words, added or changed characters so we could use more people in the production. He jokingly applied to Yale just to see what would happen. He actually got in and they really wanted him to go, just not enough to lower prices enough for someone from Hicksville me to go there. He ended up going to Michigan Tech. I don't remember what his major is. Got a job right out of high school, for the best gaming company in our country, basically our local Google. His starting salary was bigger than my parents who've worked the same job for 10 years. He spent every paycheck on video games, and was fired after like 3 months for being lazy. Edit, more info, he decided to take a break year mostly stayed at home playing video games. Actually met his current GF playing Counter-Strike, so he has that going for him. My school have one, a freaking genius that excel at every scientific subjects and entered one of the best university in my country for medical profession. Everyone in my school thought he would become a surgeon or something like that. Well, he did graduate university but never got his license to be a proper doctor. Apparently during university, he found out that he really, really, really like and good at boxing. Currently, about five years after he graduated, he had become professional athlete in boxing and won a few championship. The dude has one of the best minds I've ever seen, but apparently nothing make him happier than boxing. There was this one kid who was autistic. He could memorize basically anything in seconds, but is practically impossible to communicate with unless you were someone close to him. Don't know how he's doing now, but from what I've heard he still needs full-time support from his parents. I worked a telecom job with a guy who was quite autistic. If you told him your birthday, he would instantly tell you what day of the week you were born. He would also tell a lot of people what their zip code was as soon as they tell him what town they lived in, before they had a chance. It was beyond extraordinary. The guy was also beyond socially awkward. He would walk up to a full table in the break room and just linger very close to people. I'd always try to sit a ways away from him in the cubicles because he was very loud on the phones. He also didn't understand proper sales speech. I was sitting near him one day because all the other seats were full and I hear him say very loudly, well mom, if you'd stop asking questions. The call would be over in about 5 minutes. I fell out of my chair laughing. The guy was a mathematical genius but they had to let him go because he couldn't keep people on the phone or make sales. I think they should have allowed him to explain that he was autistic. People had no idea. I mean. Being able to memorize information equals slash equals genius. It's a frankly useless skill if the person doesn't understand the information they're memorizing or doesn't have the ability to use it in any functional way. Very true. He's able to basically memorize an entire chapter of a textbook word for word, and may be able to tell it back to you, but once you try and go into detail, he would just go completely off topic. For example, we were studying for a geography on types of clouds or some other weird shit when he walked by, and a friend of mine asked him a question about the definition of a type of cloud. He was able to recite it back to us without any mistakes, but when asked how it relates to the water cycle, he just randomly started talking about this basketball team from the Philippines. Go figure. This guy was beyond genius I mean just knew a little bit of everything valedictorian etc. He was rather sheltered by his own choosing, got a full ride scholarship to MIT. In his first semester he discovered he really really liked sex and alcohol. Ended up dropping out after that first year and had a pretty fucked up life for a decade or so. Something, I don't know what, woke him up and he turned himself around and is currently an executive for one of the world's largest construction firms.